Welcome to Stevens Elementary School here in Burlington, Kentucky. Lynette is a, a serial entrepreneur, and uh, she's the chief marketing officer and co-founder of the company Natural Machines, and they make Dini. And um, the students are going to interview her now. Lynette, tell us, what's Houdini? That's right. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So Houdini is the world's first 3D food printer that actually prints sweet and savory types of food. Well, um, we do want to know uh, what you can cook. <laughs> Can we actually need a few special samples for you guys today? Now, I made these extra big so you can try to see them on a webcam. Does anybody know what that is? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's a Love gigantic it. cookie. One. Who's got the first question? Ask your question. Hi, my name is Cassie Ranto. Oftentimes in STEM class, our first build trial fails. Did you experience this? What problems did you encounter and how did you solve them? Well, I'll tell you, with 3D food printing, we do a lot of errors. So do you know how sometimes when you see food that's not quite right, it didn't turn out right? We get mistakes, too. So I don't. in your research, you may have seen that we printed 3D dinosaurs. Did you see those? Yeah. No. No. The first time we printed that, it did not look like that. The first time we printed it is our green spinach was too watery, and when we baked it, it went all over the tray and created a big green blob and did not look like a dinosaur at all. So we had <laughs> what is your version of the Fujini in five to ten years? Do you picture it in the home of an av of every average person? Do you think it could end world hunger? Good question. Very Who's good. next? Raise your hand. Go ahead. How do you see... Hi, my name is Taylor. Hi. How do you see the food changing our world? Is there older technology you eventually see it placing, replacing? Well, I'm next. Okay, just make okay it go ahead. Tell us your name. Hi, my name is James Hoffman, and my question is, what in your life has changed the most since you invented the Foodini? I think the thing that's changed the most is I have no more time to do anything else. <laughs> Hi, my name is Katie. Um, how many people did you test the Foodini food with, and what were their initial thoughts? Hi, my name is Carson Moore. How did how did you become interested in science and engineering? And well, where do the arts fit in your line of work? Good morning. My name is Kelsey Anderson. How did you get enough money to fund the invention process? <laughs> well, we're still looking for money. <laughs> so we are looking for more money. But that's a great question. So we are looking for more money now. And the way we come to this point is by saving our money from other jobs and getting bank loans. Oh, we have a question in Ms. Irwin's room. You've been waiting a long time. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Jaren Cooper. What was your was this yeah, was this your first invention? And were you afraid to try the first food any food? Hi, I'm Emma Berkeley. We have a STEAM class that we participate in weekly. Were there classes like that when you were in elementary school that helped you on your path to be an entrepreneur? I'm Caleb Daly. What are the benefits to having a Boudini make food instead of cooking? Them? <laughs> Say your name, please. <laughs> um, my name is David. Um, if I had an idea for an invention, what are the first steps I would take? And um, how long did it take you to make the Foodini? Well, we're still making Foodini. Uh, what inspired you to make the Foodini? My name is Olivia Lamb. What is your favorite dish the Foodini makes? I would like to know, um, why did you name it the Foodini? Hi, my name is Justin Moore, and I would like to ask you how old were you when you came up with the, came up with the idea to make the Foodini? How old I was? Yeah. Oh, so let's see. How old are you now? You're 10? 
I'm probably the same age as your parents or four times as your age. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I'll give you a little math problem. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. um, hi, my name is Emily Sisson. How did making the, Fugini, making the Fugini help with business skills for later on? My name is DJ, and I wanted to ask, how long did it take to make the Fugini? Thing the Fugini can't make. Oh, I also wanted, before we hang up with Lynette, I wanted to ask you a couple questions about what you're doing, because I don't think we made that clear. I heard at the beginning of the broadcast, someone called you the Google lady, and you're not the Google lady at all. You're B.L. Ackman. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do? Uh, well, I run a company called Maximum Plus, and what we do is we train educators and uh, associations and brands how to use all these magical tools that Google Plus provides, and then we produce events like these. And we've had the pleasure of doing this with you, and this is just a joy. You guys have been fantastic today. And I want to... Hey, boys and girls, why don't you show your appreciation by doing, you know, the silent wave thing, the silent clapping. Can you do that to Lynette and to BL? Thank them. Thank you. So <laughs> Thank much. you, guys.